Welcome back to the third episode of the series Netcat and All Its Secrets. In this episode, we are going to see how to set a web server and how to set uh, the reverse shell. Let's focus on the web server. For the web server, I've created the index file. This will be output on the page that we will set in a few seconds. To set it, we need to run the command while true. This command will uh, allow netcat to run permanently in time and we need to pass uh, the uh, filing input and a port we need to set a port in this case 8080 and this command will allow the server to stay up and let's visit it with links and let's visit the Austin Milan 96 to the 74 and the port 8080. And as you can see in the response, we'll get this, uh, this output, which is the content of the file. And also, here is logged at the request that we sent. The user agent also. And as you can see, if we stop the service and we retry to run the command, we are not able to connect to the server. Now let's focus on the reverse shell. To set the reverse shell, we need to uh, use the, the uh, option dash e and the file name that we want to uh, pass. Specify the file name to exec after, the, uh, after connect. And now we just need to uh, run dash l dash v dash p the part and dash e the file bin bash and as you can see right now we are listening on the system and on the other side if we try to connect to Tokyo server to one zero one one nine and the port one nine 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 we can run command on the other side and also write things like I was here greetings <laughs> and we can also uh, close the connection as you can see here we can uh, see that we have re written something on the other side of the system. That's all for this uh, episode. Thanks for watching. See you soon for other videos.